Hey everyone, and welcome to part 2 of AutoVio's Auto Evolution video for McLaren Automotive. In today's video we continue to take a look at McLaren and how they've revolutionized, inspired and incorporated their extensive Formula 1 knowledge into their road cars. If you haven't seen the part 1 video of this series, make sure to go back and check it out. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when a new Evolution video is released. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. 3, 2, 1, let's go. McLaren 620R McLaren started their sports series with the 570S in 2015 as an opportunity for customers to acquire a special edition car with inspiration taken from the racetrack. Over the years a total of 8,500 sports series left the factory doors from the plant in Woking. This includes models like the 540C, the 570S Spider, the 570 GT, the 600 LT Coupe, the 600 LT Spider, and finally the current 620R which is limited to only 225 units made worldwide. The McLaren 620R is a race car that's legal to drive on the open road. It was derived from the McLaren 570S GT4. The 620R takes all the technology from the track onto the public street while not having to adhere to FIA regulations, with 620 horsepower. The 620R is also the most powerful model from the entire sports series range. McLaren 650S The British carmaker McLaren unveiled the 650S at the 2014 Geneva Motor Show. The 650S was a supercar based on the underpinnings of the 12C but with more power and better performance. When McLaren decided to launch a supercar, their expertise in professional racing was essential. They designed an aerodynamical vehicle and the final result was attractive. But the 12C didn't have that aggressive look of a roadrunner and Ferrari killer. The 650S came to fix this. An aggressive looking supercar without a powerful engine can't convince customers. There are a lot of examples in motoring history. The 650S didn't want to go into that direction and it featured a newly developed twin turbo V8 that could offer 650 horsepower. Its power was sent to the rear wheels via a 7-speed automatic with sequential shifting fitted as standard. The two-piece retractable hard top on the Spider can be automatically raised or lower in less than 17 seconds. It can be activated up to 19 miles per hour. McLaren 675LT Like its iconic predecessor, the McLaren F1 GTR Lawn Tail, from which the LT name is derived, this is a car that is as exciting to look at as it is to drive. The McLaren 675LT was the lightest and most track-oriented McLaren at the time of its launch. The long tail, or LT, was a faster McLaren 650S McLaren built only 500 units and all of them were sold before the last one entered the production line. The LT was for the McLaren what the Superleggera was for the Lamborghini or the Speciale for the Ferrari. A fast car that just became faster. The engine was reworked and it developed 675 horsepower, 25 more than the McLaren 650S. McLaren 720S With a huge experience gained in Formula 1 and in endurance racing, the McLaren supercar was awaited by passionate drivers all over the world. The sleek, aerodynamic supercar has a strange look since no door handles and headlights are visible. The door handle is hidden by the door's body panel and the headlights are hidden inside black casings. The whole aerodynamic package is designed to increase the downforce, which is 50% more than on the previous 650S model. One that stands out is the folding instrument cluster. The little TFT color display folds down and a secondary, smaller display can be read. And that shows only the tachometer, the gear, and speed. It is intended for the racetrack to minimize the information sent to the driver. The larger side, when it flips up, shows more information and it can be set as a screen for the backup camera. McLaren introduced an open-top version for the 720S in 2018, but it did it in a McLaren way that the car didn't lose its overall performance. McLaren 765LT Limited to a production run of just 765 units, the McLaren 765LT becomes the fifth member of the long-tail roster. Joining the 675LT, 675LT Spider, 600LT and 600LT Spider. The McLaren 765LT features a retuned version of the mid-mounted 4-liters twin-turbocharged V8 featured in the 720S. This adds about 45 horsepower and 22 pound-feet of torque for the 765LT's arsenal, 
allowing it to output a total of 755 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. The engine is mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission with revised gear ratios, which translates to a 15% improvement with regards to in-gear acceleration. The 765 LT was more likely an upgraded version of the previous McLaren 720S. And by upgrading, that means weight reduction. With less weight, that equals a power increase. The sports car could rocket to 60 miles per hour in only 2.8 seconds and reached a top speed of 205 miles per hour. It's the latest, most powerful and most advanced LT to date. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through time, please like and subscribe for more auto evolutions coming up.